Do you really know that before you start the journey of fulfilling your destiny in life, there are some yoke you need to break? Before you start to achieve your dreams also, there are some yokes you need to break in life. If these problems or yoke are not broken before you start running after your destiny or achieving your dream, this unbroken yoke might delay you to get to your dream land. So come with me today and let us talk about what you need to do before you start dreaming and what you need to do before you start running after your destiny in life. Keep watching. Hello everyone, my name is Avalake Janet Oyelami. Why do you think it takes time before most people in the world achieve their dreams or fulfill destiny? Sometimes we might think maybe God is the one delaying us. Or sometimes we might think maybe it's the devil that is delaying us. Or sometimes we might think maybe it's the generational cause that is delaying us from achieving our dreams. During my meditation time, I got to know there are some certain things that is delaying we human beings to achieve our dreams on time. There are some certain things that have happened in our family long time ago that might be delaying us from fulfilling destiny on time. But before I share this secret, let me give the keywords that summarize today's topic. The keyword today says, if you have made up your mind to get to your success land, the enemy will send more luck, more depth across your way to distract you and to discourage you to give up. But since you are desperate to achieve your success and you have seen the end result, this is the time you have to push harder to finish climbing the high mountain because you are nearly there. For once you get to the top of the mountain, you have scaled through into your sources. Keep pushing harder. Keep climbing the mountain. Keep dreaming big. Keep using your ideas. You are nearly there. I'm someone that loves to ask questions. Why does God allow his children to suffer before they get to the promised land? Why does God allow his children to wait for a long time before he gives them what they are asking for? This might not be from God. It might have been caused by we human beings. Examples of generational issue is seen in the life of Abraham when he lied about Sarah that she is not his wife. Likewise, Isaac lied about his wife. Likewise, Jacob lied to steal his brother's destiny. Also, Abraham was greatly blessed. Isaac was greatly blessed. Likewise, Jacob. So, to fulfill your dream, check your family background. What you don't want in your family, fight against it till you win. Sometimes, as a woman being, when we are trying to get to our destiny, when you are trying to get to your dreamland, you will be saying, why is God delaying me to get to my promised land? Why is God making me to pass through problems? Why is God making me to pass through storm? Why is God delaying my request from Him? Let me give you the reason. I got to know this secret during my meditation time. Sometimes we pass through problems just because God wants to prove to the enemy, the devil, that he trusted us that we will never disappoint or leave him. During the time of Job, Satan went to God. He told God that he should allow him to test him. God allowed it. It doesn't mean that God was wicked, but God was trying to show to the devil that he trusted Job. He will never leave him. And Job never leave God. Secondly, the problem we are facing is based on what our forefathers have done in the past. And we will be blaming it on God, that God, why are you delaying me? 
Why are you not letting me to fulfill destiny on time? Why are you not letting me to go to my promised land on time? Sometimes the issue of life might be based on what our forefathers have done. And if we don't break those yoke on time, it might continue to delay forever. Like the story of Eli, God had promised them that his family will be useful for his glory forever. But when his children started to misbehave, God changed it and caused the family that none of them would grow old. Can we say God is wicked? Now, if the family of Eli are still in the world, and if they don't break that yoke, if they don't break that course, the world rotates like this. The course will continue to manifest. It will continue to manifest until they break that yoke. Generational course is a spirit. It doesn't go even if you give your life to Christ. It doesn't go because it has been altered from the foundation of the world. When you see that pattern of generational force, of delaying breakthrough, of financial struggle, of financial lack, of one struggle or the other, if you see all those bad, bad patterns in your family. So what do you need to do before you embark on running after your dreams and before you embark on running after your destiny? Number one, sit down and look in your family pattern you don't like. If you know a particular pattern you don't like in your family that is reoccurring in your family, like I said earlier, make sure you break it through prayer and through the blood of Jesus because curse is a spirit. It never listening to, please leave me alone. It listening to you rebuking it and breaking it so that you will be able to move faster in life. Number two, say God's word back to him. From Genesis to Revelation, God has shown to us who he is. Especially in Deuteronomy 28, there are causes and there are blessings. If you do what God asks you to do, there is blessing for it. If you do what he doesn't like, there is a cause for it. Especially when God said, do not serve other God beside me. And if you don't serve any other God beside him, there is a blessing for it. If you serve any other God beside him, there is a cause for it. So if you want to achieve your dreams on time and you want to fulfill your destiny on time, say God's word back to him. Where he say he will bless you. Say it back to him. God, you say you will bless me. Bless me. Remember that getting that blessing, you have rules and regulations to follow in Deuteronomy 28. And if you follow it, those causes will vanish based on the blessing you have been proclaiming into your life. Number three, do not join people to say what will be will be. The Bible I read from Genesis to Revelation never say what will be will be. The Bible made me to understand that there are rules and regulations laid down in the Bible. If we do this, if we follow the rules and regulations, everything will follow us. If we follow the wrong one, then the repercussion for the wrong word will follow us. If the plan of God for Jesus is to come to this world, get married, go to the cross, have children, that plan will have been written down in the Bible. But the plan of God for Jesus Christ is to come, die for our sin, go back to the world and come back the second time to take us home. That was the plan of God for Jesus Christ. It is not what we be, we be. What we be, we be. The meaning of what we be, we be, people normally talk about this. When battling is meant to happen to you, that battle will happen. That's not true. The Bible never made us to understand that God has created us for bad things to happen to us. But based on what I shared earlier, storm come to our life based on God wants to prove to them or based on the causes of our forefathers. If those causes are not broken, then delay will happen. Then if God wants to prove to the devil that you will not fail him and you now finally fail the death, that will also cause delay for you 
to get to your promised land. In conclusion, don't say God is the one delaying you to get to your promised land on time. God is not a wicked God. God is our good friend. He has revealed who he is to us from Genesis to Revelation. There are laid down rules and regulations in the Bible. You try your best to follow it and leave the rest to God if God will not prove who he is to you. He said in blessing, he will bless you. He said in blessing, he will bless us. So definitely when you say a word, his word are yea and amen. What we don't know might delay us to get to our promised land. Find out about this God. Find out about his promises in the Bible. Make use of his promises. If you will not do it, then he is not God. He said he lifted up his word above his name. Whatever he says in the Bible, follow it. Leave the blessing to God. Leave the financial breakthrough to God. Leave the fruitfulness to God. If you are looking for financial breakthrough, look at the Bible. Look at what God said in the Bible about that financial breakthrough. Follow the principle. If you are looking to have the, the fruit, if you are looking to have fruit of the womb, look at what the Bible says about that promise. Look at what it asks you to do before you get a promise. Follow it. If you are looking for breakthrough in any areas of your life, search the Bible. Look at what the Bible says about that particular issue. Follow the rules and regulation of that issue. Then leave the rest to God. He's a good God. He's a good friend. I hope this encourages you to run after your dream and never give up. Speak to you soon. God bless you.